Welcome back to PLG Spotlight. I'm Matt Gordon, and I'm here downtown Bardstown, and I'm walking around Main Street checking out all the shops and all the local restaurants, and I'm thinking, you know what? This is a really nice Main Street. Now there's a lot that goes into making this Main Street so incredible, but I won't tell you about that. I'll let some other people do that. My name is Lisanna Bird. I am the executive director of the Bartstown Main Street program. I have been here a little over a year, but born and raised here in Bartstown. Um, here at the Bartstown Main Street program, we do many things. Um, we're composed really primarily of four committees, and those committees, um, including our board of directors um, and volunteers, um, really help shape what the Bartstown Main Street program is all about. Those committees consist of promotion, which is our downtown businesses. We look to support those businesses and anything that they do is in terms of events downtown, advertising, any kind of promotional collateral. We work with them to try to promote people to come to downtown and enjoy downtown as a destination. Um, we also have our organization committee, which is really the heart and soul, and that's an executive committee within our board of directors that focuses on fundraising efforts, volunteer management, and educating people about what Bartstown Main Street is all about. Actually, this program has been in existence for quite some time, 27 years to be exact. When you talk about Bartstown Main Street, you're really talking about the historic district. So we, we primarily fall within those um, that historic overlay, so that kind of, roughly, it goes down to my Oak Kentucky home, up Stephen Foster to the General Nelson Inn, and down to the railroad tracks. But we work with many partners outside of the downtown community as well. Um, we try not to keep it in that box. We want to make sure that everybody feels welcome and if they would like to work with us or be a part of Bartstown Main Street, um, we, we definitely welcome that. Bartstown Main Street is funded um, by local contributions. So we get contributions from the city, the county, and also tourism. Um, not even just, um, not just towards the program itself, but we also get grants for particular events. So for downtown events, um, <clears throat> and events like the Bourbon City Street Concert. Um, but our biggest and largest fundraiser, of course, is the Bartstown Arts, Crafts, and Antiques Fair. That brings in a lot of revenue for our program and, and gives us the opportunity to do many things that to give back to the downtown community. So we're very lucky to be able to have that. As, again, as we talk about that 27 years and how we've evolved and taken, and taken the shape that we are today, um, we really have, taken on the vast majority of events that happen in the downtown community. Um, a, a lot of those are driven from our promotion committee because we do host a lots of things for people to come down, whether it's um, you know shopping, dining, you know just supporting local businesses. Um, and we also host family friendly events. We try to like the Easter Bunny on Court Square where families can come down for free and um, the Halloween Spooktacular which we have made a civic event last year where kids can come down and not only trick or treat with their favorite merchants but they can also come down to the farmers market, enjoy free games and also a movie with their family. Um, we're going to start hosting a lot of pop-up events this year that we've put in our budget which are like pop-up putt-putt courses and those kinds of things. So we want to bring families downtown and have them enjoy, but we also do a host of other events like the Bourbon City Street Concert. We're coming up with new events like Farm to Table. Um, we're constantly thinking of ways to make an impact in our downtown community, but we want to make an impact where people want to come down here all of the time, you know. Um, they want to come down because it's a destination. It's a great positive atmosphere. It's, it's historic value is, is unlike anything else and we want to continue to make that for future generations. It goes back to our vision. Um, our vision at the Bartstown Main Street program is to continue to make downtown Bartstown a historically modern place to live, work, and play. It's that sense of place and you'll see that we talk about we talk, we'll talk about that a lot this year, is creating that sense of place that people want to come home to. Whether it's, you know, a local or a visitor, we want to create that sense of, uh, that home-like feel or that southern hospitality for people to be able to enjoy. I am an intern here this summer with Lee Santa. Uh, so I work closely with her on planning, coordinating events, and pretty much just anything she throws my way. Um, so, Right now we're actually working closely together on the Farm to Table event and it's going to be on June the 24th. Uh, it's a seven course meal presented by Chef Tom at the Old Talbot Tavern. We also have lots of other sponsors and we'll get to those at the Farm to Table event. 
Um, but it, like I said, it's a seven course meal. Um, we'll have a photo booth that night. Uh, unlimited four by six photos, props. It'll be really fun. Uh, the Giants Across the Waters are playing that night, so there'll be live entertainment. Uh, gift baskets will be raffled off throughout the night. Um, local businesses have provided gift certificates. McIntyre Winery is having a basket as well as the farmers, uh, they're offering a basket as well. Uh, so those will be raffled off throughout the night. Um, you get a flower sack towel to take home, a free wine glass for McIntyre Winery, and then of course the awesome seven course meal that will be there that night. Hi, I'm uh, Tom McKinnon. I'm the executive chef here at the Talbot Tavern. Um, I've been here about seven months and absolutely love Bardstown, love the area. And they came to me, um, Bardstown Main Street, um, about putting together farm to table dinner. So I got together with um, a lot of local farms, uh, McIntyre Winery, Reed Farms, and, and a lot of the local farmers for vegetables and meat and things. And um, everybody is uh, stepping up to the plate and we put together a seven course meal. Well, we started off um, with tenderloin um, that we're smoking um, as like a little amuse-bouche, a little small appetizer and that'll be paired with a um, parsnip puree and a raspberry uh, vinaigrette. Then um, we go into, we're making fresh uh, sausage. We're serving that with our famous bacon marmalade and uh, that'll be with uh, collard greens and sprinkled with uh, fresh yellow bell pepper. Then on our third course, we have the salad of all local greens, doubled, uh, doubled egg, green tomato dressing. Then for our fourth course, it's a pork belly wellington, to where we make a ground pork belly mixture with um, country ham covered in puff pastry, and it'll be served with a current, uh, kind of a sweet demi-glace sauce. It'll be very, very nice. And uh, that'll be with fresh roasted vegetables. Then our fifth course, by then you're getting full. We're doing um, local um, smoked Gouda grits with uh, country ham and uh, sauteed um, red, uh, red pepper and onion. Then, here's the big one. It, this is where our pig comes in. We're doing a stuffed pork loin. It'll be like a spiral pork loin with fig and apple stuffing. And that'll be served with a really cool potato rosette that looks like a rose and um, a cinnamon fire sauce. Great combination. Then of course there's dessert and McIntyre uh, Winery has donated a, a lot of blueberries so we're doing a blueberry um, streusel tart with a salted bourbon caramel sauce. So I enjoy this kind of thing and it's especially when I get to get out with the, into the community and talk with everybody about the food and you know it's just one big party. Now if you had to choose one of your favorites out of the seven courses, just one, mm -hmm. which one would you choose? Pork Belly Wellington, <laughs> I'm yeah. partial to it, it's yummy. <laughs> and which course is that? That is the fourth course. The, well, and then of course dessert, you know, I'm, I love dessert, love pastries. So what was it like getting to know some of the, the local farmers here, uh, you know, once you were approached they are, about this? They, they are so hospitable and everybody's just so nice here, you know, it's, it's awesome. Um, you know, they, they gave me tours of their places and, you know, it's just, it's just fantastic. I, I, just, I feel so at home here. Come on out, you know, see your neighbors, get to know everybody, get to know, you know, your community. Because um, we're really doing this for you. We want you to, you know, enjoy your hometown. It's a great event. It's, uh, you know, it's great for the city. We want to um, raise money here to um, help um, advertise the city and, you know, bring people out, bring locals back. Come see what your Bardstown downtown is all about. With Farm to Table, we, you know, we've been talking about this for several years now. It's just been something that um, we didn't maybe necessarily felt we were ready for because we had a lot of other events that were coming down the pipeline. And so as we meet with the promotion committee, we come up with a strategic plan every year. How many events we want to have, um, you know, what time frame. We don't want to step on anybody else's toes in terms of other organizations that might be having events during that time. We try to be very mindful of, of, of all of those things when we're planning out the process or when we're processing all of that information. But um, really, this, this was the year. This was the year that we wanted to do it. And I said, more importantly, we want to be able to start supporting 
um, the farmer's market and, and really kind of um, keying in on that eating local, eating better. So not only can you shop local or dine local, but we want to also talk about, you know, where some of that local food comes from and, and who are those people behind the scenes that grow that food or, you know, what that looks like. So um, that's really, I mean, it's just been a, a several years coming that we've just been talking about it and this was the year that we wanted to make it happen. You know, this is a new event, so it, it may take some time to catch on or people to realize really what it's all about. But more importantly, it's just that first step that we want to take to help promote local farmers eating local food and why it's so important just the whole support local concept. I cannot stress enough how important it is um, with our board of directors, with our committee members and our volunteers. I mean, this program could not exist without them. Um, they play a huge part in making this program successful, you know. Yes, sometimes, I, you know, I'm the one that's, you know, that talks about things or might be in front of the camera or, you know, organizes things, but it's really them. Um, and I cannot thank them enough. I think we can't thank them enough for a lot of the things that they do um, behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. And so with that being my, our first event, I mean, the volunteers that had worked on the committee in the past really helped kind of take the reins and say, okay, this is what happened last year. You know, this is the, some of the things that you need to think about. So it's that planning process and, and addressing those questions and concerns and things that may come up. We already had that all laid out. And if it wasn't for their help and helping me prepare for the event mentally, you know, really, mm -hmm. I think that um, that was just, that was huge. And that's what made the night so smooth. I mean, we didn't have really one thing that night that went against us. I mean, we had a, we had a, just a great evening. And the thing is, the best thing about it is, is when you sit back and once it started and you see everybody enjoying themselves and being downtown, and that's really what it's all about. It's about creating events and creating that sense of community and going back to creating that sense of place for people to just enjoy. People want to go back to their downtown communities. You're starting to see that trend where people within, you know, the, the downtown is the heart or the hub that really holds the community together. And that's why when you come down here to downtown Bardstown and you see that we have like maybe a 0.5% vacant, I mean vacancy rate, really, literally we don't have any buildings that are, you know, sitting. We have people that call every week wanting an opportunity to talk about possibly putting a business here in downtown. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. I mean, it's great. Bullet Winery and have a pizza, or yeah. you could go to Pat's place and have a fried bologna sandwich. I mean, it's just yeah. Or say so you have that history piece. You've got that, that modern twist. Modern twist. Yeah, you've you've got a little bit of everything for somebody to enjoy, and that's what makes it, you know, such a a great place to come and visit or it's just great for locals too to be able to have this right here at their doorsteps. We're also developing a youth program so that's something that we've been looking about looking at. Um, getting youth involved in the community to us is very very important. Um, we're at the point now that we need to start in you know investing in the you know in the youth in our community and getting them involved in um, knowing what downtown how special our downtown really is and how they can be a part of that um, so we are starting a main street U program kicking off next fall and that's going to be with local high school students they will start their junior year and it'll be a two-year program so um, we select three students from each of the local high schools um, there is an application process. All of that's readily available to be able to read on our Barstown Main Street website. And um, we're going to be um, working with them on projects. It's really project focused. But they'll also learn about the historical value of downtown. They'll meet with business owners. They'll learn about beautification projects. They're going to learn about every aspect they can about what downtown life is all about. And hopefully that will, you know, educate them and be able to show them a side of downtown that they've never seen before. Um, and then their senior year, they'll be able to, well, by the end of their junior year, they'll be able to actually pick a project that they would like to focus on by l looking downtown and maybe like just stepping back and thinking about some of the things that they would like to see improved. Maybe they would like to host an event themselves. Whatever that looks like, they will select that on their own. So it's really driven by the students that are involved within this program. We want to make it student driven. We want to provide them the resources and educate them, but we want to let them be the ones to take it on. 
um, and then their senior year, senior, and then their senior year, they will actually see that program or that project come come to life. Um, we'll be with them every step of the way, but this is going to be an exciting opportunity for people or for the youth of our community to be involved in something within our downtown community. Um, we have like Dixie Hibbs, our local historian involved. We've, we've got a lot of people that we're going to be bringing in to give them a full experience. We're also going to establish a scholarship fund so by their senior year they're able to apply for a, a scholarship within the program as well. So there's lots of things that we're excited about and we will be um, promoting. One of the big projects that we've been focusing on this year is of course our brand new website. So um, we just launched it about a month ago mm -hmm. and um, it is a, it was, it's been a huge undertaking because we had two separate websites. We had the Bartstown Main Street website and then we had the Arts and Crafts Fair website. So we've integrated both of those into one site. And so we have a brand new and improved Bartstown Main Street site. Um, it's still a work in progress. So we've still been really working on that, but really it's gonna be a one-stop shop for everything downtown. Um, we'll have an interactive map where people can look at businesses downtown from an aerial view, like kind of a top on top of the, just an aerial view of downtown, and then we'll have a listing, a guide where they can look at eat, drink, shop, stay, everything that you can imagine. And that's going to do it for PLG Spotlight this time. Now just remember next time you go to either the street concert or another Main Street program event, there's a lot more that goes into it than you think. Once again, I'm Matt Gordon, and I'll see you next time.